Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you three DIYs using a farmhouse vibe with kitchen and laundry room. Let's get right into it. This first project I wanted to share with you so easy. I printed off this SVG off the printer onto a regular piece of paper and this cutting board is from the Dollar Tree, of course. And you see me pushing the bottom where the circles are, the rubber circles to keep it from scratching the counters or the tables. I push down on there just to see where I want to poke the holes in the future. So here I am cutting, slicing it down to size so that it will fit perfectly onto the cutting board. Here I am using my little, it looks like a little dental toothpick type tool. This is my Cricut tool. I love this tool. It's for weeding. I really liked using this tool to make the cuts around the rubber circles. I was going to use my X-Acto knife, but I found that this was the perfect tool to use. So. I did each corner and then I took the Mod Podge and generously painted the bottom of this. Then I carefully placed the piece of paper on top of the cutting board and carefully without ripping, I know that it's fast so it looks like I'm being very quick about it but be very gentle with it as you're putting it on. Once you have carefully got all the bubbles and made it nice and flat, then you will take another coat of Mod Podge and generously cover that up. It does say on the bottle that it takes about 28 days to curate, so that's how long uh, it could be until it looks perfect. But all in all, nice and easy project for the kitchen. This is another DIY for the kitchen. I have seen the little plates with the spoons and the forks around. I've always wanted to make one, so I was really excited that you can just grab a few things from the Dollar Tree and it is so cheap. Not cheap, I guess inexpensive, because it looks really nice once I finish it. So I use the charger plate, and the wooden spoon, and the wooden spatula with the slits in them, and I took some gray chalk paint, and I painted the charger plate with that. I did one coat, and then I I think I went over it again once more uh, if there were any spots that I didn't like. Then I used a darker shade of gray on my spoon and my spatula. And same thing, I used one coat and if I needed to, you know, fix up any other blotches that I missed, I gave it a second coat. And then I let these dry. And then in advance, I found this image on Google, I believe. And I put it onto my Cricut and printed it out. Used my contact paper. And voila, I am putting it on the charger plate, making sure it's nice and even. I did measure it out in advance as well. I'm carefully carefully peeling off the contact paper to make sure that I didn't peel any paint. This time I made sure everything was dry. And look how nice it is peeling off. Nice and slow, that's for sure. Oh, this looks so cool. And then I used Mod Podge to seal up over the vinyl. And one coat is fine and then I used my 
little heat dryer for this to dry as well and it does say again 20 days to curate so obviously you're not going to be eating off of it you should be fine to hang it up and not worry about it for a month <laughs> and there's that once it was dried then I took Gorilla Glue and some twine from the Dollar Tree I braided it and I glued that to the back of the charger plate once that was dry I then turned it back over and for some reason I cannot find the footage of me gluing the spoon and the spatula on, but that is what I did, and that is what it looks like, all finished. I also added a bow. There is a video on my channel of how to do that as well. Look how cute for your kitchen. Love it, beautiful farmhouse style decor. And then the last video is this laundry room sign all the materials are from the Dollar Tree, even the sticker. This time I used the sticker from the Dollar Tree and not my own vinyl. I took a pizza pan and I used some, I want to say that this was like a, like a light medium cream colored chalk paint and I painted the whole pizza pan this color. I did do a second coat of this so that the silver did not show through. And then once that was all completely dried, I then peeled the sticker from the Dollar Tree. It's so cute, this is laundry room, and then it talks about folding and drying and ironing, and it's quite hilarious. So I'm definitely going to put this in my laundry room. And they measured it out nicely so that it's not crooked. And that R kept giving me such a trouble. And this time I did make sure that the paint was completely dry so that I wasn't peeling off any paint as I went. Once you stick that down nice and easy, making sure it is all measured correctly and straight, there it is. I then put a coat of Mod Podge on this as well. I also used my little heat dryer to dry this a little bit and I added a bow from the Dollar Tree. The ribbon that I used was from there and I also have a tutorial on how to make that bow. But there you go. Beautiful, easy farmhouse ideas for some decor in your house. I love how these came out. I hope that you enjoyed as well. Thank you so much. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you next time. Bye.